Okay, this is part two of a MySQL tutorial on updating and deleting records in a MySQL database. I am picking up exactly where I left off from part one, so if you missed that, go ahead and feel free to watch that. All right, the only thing I've done differently here is I stuck all this information into a table, so it gives us a cleaner outlook like that. Um, so what we're going to want to do here is give this form an action. Um, like I said, if you missed the first part of it, feel free to go ahead and watch that. Um, I'm picking up exactly right where I left off. So we're going to want to give this an action. So we'll just give it an action of edit post.php. And again with the question mark, we're going to do the ID again. ID is going to equal, and we're going to echo out the ID. And remember, uh, this PHP open tag in equals is the same as this. I just don't like writing that much, so that's why I use the short tag for it. That means the exact same thing. So we're going to, the action on this is going to be a page called editpost.php of the ID. So we'll get an ID for each one. And I went over that completely in part one, if you missed any of that. So what we're going to go ahead and do is create a new file called editpost. We'll go php create. And we can get rid of this, we don't need it. And don't forget your opening and closing PHP tags. First thing I'm going to do is include the config file because we'll be interacting with the database on this page. And then, as before on the other action, as we did to delete, we're going to give the get a name. So this is going to be get. getting that from, the ID is what is this right here, which is going to equal this value. So in this case, for post 1 and post 4, these should be 1 and 4. So we'll go ahead and save that for now as edit post. And there it is, edit post. So let's double check to make sure that this is working right and getting the right IDs. So we'll go ahead and refresh this. And let's view the page source to make sure everything's working out right. So on this form, the ID is one. On this form, the ID is four, exactly what they should be because this is post number four. And this is uh, the ID of four, which is exactly how it matches up in the database. If you want to check, right there. ID 1 for post 1, ID 4 for post 4. Alright, so say we want to edit this text in here to update in the database. So we don't want all this in here, and we just want to edit it. And that's exactly what we're working on. Alright, so what we want to do is now that we have the ID, so we're going to run a MySQL query. But before we do that, we're going to, since we have posted variables over here, uh, the title and the content, we need to define those. So what we're going to do is we'll go with title, maybe, is going to equal the posted and whatever name we gave that, and I believe that was title. So this input type, name on it is title. So that's what the name over there is going to be. Oops. And then we need one for content. So we'll call this one uh, content. That's going to equal uh, posted content. just like that. And let's make sure, yep, we gave that a name of content. So, and the, this query is a little bit different than most. So, what the query here is going to be 
going to be update and the table name which is blog so update blog and set then you need the column and the value so so we're going to set the title column and the content column so we're going to set title equal to the posted title which is going to be whatever was entered then we're going to put a comma and the column for content which is content then set content equal to the posted content. Just like that. Then after that we're going to have a WHERE clause. So WHERE ID equals ID. And that is going to update both of these tables for the title and the content. Now it doesn't matter if the title wasn't changed because it'll just put back in the same value. Uh, it doesn't matter if the content wasn't changed, it'll put back in the same value. So we'll go ahead and save that. And actually what we'll do is we'll put a header location on here. And we'll go back to the update post.php and we'll go ahead and save that so this is the query to update either one of those and the ID so it's going to get the ID for each one of these tables so if this is for post one it'll update where post one is and I'll show you exactly how this will work so we'll go back over here and I'll hit refresh just in case so instead of post one let's say we want that to say the very first post and we'll hit submit query and you can see how that changed for the value so we'll check that in the database to see if it updated it so I said post one at first so we'll refresh the page and now you can see it changed to the very first post just like that and that's as easy as it is to update things. So if you want to update these blog posts, uh, this one, say we want to change it to the very last post. And we'll hit submit. And you can see since that's still there, that is what is in the database. So let's just double check that. Refresh this. And you can see the very last post, the very first post. It's as simple as that. And just so you can see if it works with uh, post themselves. So we'll delete this Lorem Ipsum text in here. And we'll say some text for the tutorial post. And then we'll just hit submit. And we'll, you can see how it's still there. Let's double check the database to make sure it went in. So on the very first one, it changed the whole text around. And that is how you would go about updating four different posts for a blog. Um, the previous video I showed you how to delete posts. Um, let's see, what else am I missing here? And that's all there really is to it. Um, actually, this one, I'm going to give this a value. Just a little bit of fun here. Give this a value of update. change those submit query buttons around. So there's change the update. So that is exactly how you would go about updating a table for new content and using MySQL update and MySQL delete. If you have any questions or comments feel free to let me know. I will have all of these files available to download on my blog RyanCon.com. Uh, if you have any questions or comments either leave them on my blog or my YouTube channel. Alright, thank you.